What's up everybody, it's Sky Schoolie here with business.com. And in this video today, I'm gonna to show you a brief tutorial of the QuickBooks online software, showing you some of the key features and how it works. Let's get started. Okay, so when you first log in, you land on your dashboard and it gives you a quick snapshot of your business, how much you're making, spending, what's coming in and out, all kinds of good stuff like that. Over here on the left, you'll see all of the different options you have. Today, we're gonna cover invoicing expenses and reporting, um, but there's all kinds of good stuff over there as well. From this main dashboard, I like that you can see first, front and center, the list of upcoming tasks or overdue tasks to help to keep you up to date with their important business needs. For this example, we have four overdue bills and we need to remind our customers about 10 unpaid invoices. Scrolling down, you see you can view your bank accounts. You can even go to registers. If I click on these, it'll click out to each of those register accounts. Over here on the right, you can view your profit and loss. Scrolling down, you've also got your expenses and invoices. Just a quick snapshot from the home page or your home dashboard, I mean, and then your cash flow trend as well. And one of the things that I liked most about this dashboard was you could actually customize it. So that gives you an option to view exactly what you want, front and center, whatever is most important to you. Next, let's take a look at invoicing. QuickBooks makes it easy to send clean professional invoices and get paid faster. It shows you the invoice date, number, customer, amount, and status, or you could take action directly from here. Um, with the status, you can see we've got some overdue, some upcoming due, and then you can also view your paid and your deposited. So for this example, I'm gonna show you one of our upcoming invoices that we have. On the left, you see this little snowflake looking thing. Um, this is to signify the Intuit Assist. This AI functionality can provide you with personalized recommendations and insights throughout the QuickBooks online um, platform. So for example, when it comes to invoice creation, it can automatically generate drafts from customer interactions like email, scan documents, or notes. I like that you can also see different views of your invoice. So edit view, which is where we're in now, you can also see email view. So what's it gonna look like when you send your in email? Payer view, and then lastly is your PDF view. So for this demo, I wanna show you the edit view. You can customize your invoice. So you can change this information here. If you need to, you can change your payment terms. You've got your um, transaction uh, products or services here and then you can also change your payment options so once you've got all of this customized the way that you want you just click review and send and then here it will auto populate an email for you to send out one thing that i thought was cool with this ai functionality is that you could change the tone and ai will regenerate it for you so you can have your default or say we want to make it a little bit more friendly with a click of a button that email is populated for you. If you don't like that, you can have it rewrite it for you. Okay, perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. So then it's as easy as clicking send. So all of those functionalities, I thought just really made it easy step-by-step -step to get you through sending out your invoices. Now let's look at expenses. So QuickBooks makes it simple to track where your money is going, whether you're paying a vendor, buying supplies, or covering travel. So for this demo, I wanted to show you um, the vendors. So here is a vendor profile and you'll see it has all of the transactions tied to it. You can click into um, any of these expenses and see full details. Like we can see if we want to add the payment method, you can see the category, you can add a memo, all that good stuff. And then after we make any essential changes, we can then save and close and it'll all be saved within the platform. Lastly, I wanna mention reporting. So 
I found it to be one of QuickBooks biggest strengths. So with just a few clicks, you can see how your business is performing. There are dozens of reports available throughout this. And I like that you can star them or favorite them, I suppose. So for example, if I was to favorite balance sheet comparison, you'll see it auto populate there. So this makes it easy for you to come in, find the reports that you need at a glance and get right into them. It also breaks them down by category. So you've got business overview, who owes you, sales and customers, what you owe, all of this other good stuff in categories to make it easier to find. Let's take a look at one of the reports. So let's look at this example of profit and loss. So in this report, you can see a clear breakdown of everything. You can see your income, you've got your expenses, and then towards the bottom, you can even see your net income. So it just gives you a very clear breakdown of what is in this um, this report here. Some things that I did like about the reporting is you can change your reporting period. You can even customize specific date by dates. You can change the accounting method and you can even compare it to other time periods. So this makes it easy to really dive into those reports and, and get a good look at them. And then from here, you have the option to export your reports as Excel, PDF, or CSV, which is essential. So that was just a quick look at QuickBooks Online. You've seen the general layout and how it helps with invoicing, expense tracking, and reporting all in one easy to use platform. If you do want to try out the software yourself risk-free, QuickBooks at the time of this video does currently offer a 30-day free trial. So you're able to get your hands on the software, test it out, see if it's right for you. Um, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more business-related content. I'm always putting out new stuff. Thanks for watching.